hello everyone welcome back guys hope you all are doing well today we are going to solve next lab from the insecurity serialization in the previous video i already explained the concept of gadget chains and how they are used to exploit the insecurity serialization vulnerabilities so again i'm just going to brief a bit about it a gadget chain is a sequence of classes and methods already present in an application or its dependencies that can be abused during deserialization to achieve remote code execution and other malicious actions. Uh, one thing which is important that a threat actor do not need to inject new code. Okay, And one thing which I forgot to explain in the previous lab that these chains, these gadget chains are triggered by special functions like uh, magic methods. Uh, for example, underscore underscore wake up, underscore underscore destruct and underscore underscore call. So when these are linked correctly, they let the attackers craft a payload that execute code as soon as the data is unserialized. Fine. So today we are going to uh, see uh, YSO serial uh, gadget chain tool and uh, we are going to solve this lab. So I already open up this lab here, exploiting Java deserialization with Apache commons. Okay, so this lab uses a serialization based session mechanism and loads the Apache common collection library, Apache common collection library. This is important because the gadgets are being used here are common collection. Okay, so although you don't have the source code access, you can still exploit these this lab using pre-built gadget chains so to solve the lab use a third party tool to generate a malicious serialized object containing a remote code execution payload then pass this object into the website to delete morel.txt file from the carlos home directory and we also have uh, valid credentials wiener and the password is peter fine so uh, before going to the lab i actually uh, want to download this YSO serial. So I'm going to write here YSO serial uh, GitHub. Okay. Uh, this one, this is the first, very first link. And here you can see this is the source code which we do not want. We don't want the source code because if you get the source code, you have to compile it and all. Uh, so they already provide the compiled one. Uh, you can see within the release section, you can go to the latest, click here, and you can download this one yso serial hyphen all dot jar so as i click you can see we downloaded it here and by default it will go to my downloads directory i don't need this tab now and what i'm gonna do here is uh, just uh, configure the proxy click ok so that all the traffic will go to the burp suite here we already have the burp suite now let's just access the lab we get the traffic now okay so this is our lab uh, what I'm gonna do I'm directly going to log in with the Wiener user and uh, this is the login request this is the request for the home page of the Wiener and I'm going to send this request to the repeater go to the repeater and I'm going to try to see what this session cookie is all about and this time you can see in the previous videos we found the uh, decoded value of the session cookie but this time it's unable to do that so what i'm going to do here i'm going to just uh, copy everything from here Control c and because it's not decoding automatically so i'm going here in the decoder section and paste the cookie now I try to smart decode, just decode the URL URL encoded value. Now I'm going to smart decode one more time and it's not decoding. So I'm going to decode as and base64. So once I say decode as base64, you can see a lot of gibberish here. Uh, there is one attribute maybe saying access token and maybe this is the value of the access token and the username this is another attribute its value is wiener but still you can see there are some gibberish which we cannot read so there must be something but the format is unreadable and that's why uh, we cannot basically manipulate the 
access token here uh, sorry session cookie what we know from the application that application is using uh, apache common collection okay so we are going to use yso serial tool and for that purpose let's open the command prompt and i'm going to say java space hyphen jar uh, wait a moment let me switch my directory downloads java space hyphen jar yso serial and let's see what uh, gadget chains payload are there so you can see this is the uh, payload the authors those who write these payloads and these are the dependencies so you can see here there are a bunch of common collection payloads from one to seven okay and we will try uh, any of these but it actually depends on the version so maybe supported maybe not but we need to check that out so i'm going to copy this one copy selection and let's say java space hyphen jar yso serial and then paste common collection one and i want to put the payload here which is rm means remove slash home slash uh, carlos is the home directory and the file name is morel dot text okay and we need to encode it into the base 64 okay so let's hit enter uh, this is the problem because uh, there is a line break which we do not need we need everything in continuous from start to end so for that purpose we need to use the wrap switch which is hyphen w and we need uh, zero uh, zero line break okay so just hit enter and uh, that's it now this time it's pretty fine i'm going to the i'm going to copy this and back here now instead of that i'm going to paste the new one okay just send the request and as you can see 500 internal server error there is something wrong uh, because because these uh, special characters because of these special characters maybe it's showing this error so we saw before that special characters are being url encoded in in the previous tokens right so uh, what i'm gonna do here is I'm just going to highlight the complete session cookie right click go to the convert selection go to the URL and I want to encode all the characters into URL encoded value and now you can see everything is encoded into the URL format and just send the request you can see 500 internal server error uh, but the lab is not solved that means uh, the file is not deleted and you can see there is one error saying java.lang class not found exception okay and it's saying org dot apache commons collections map lazy map fine that means uh, this class not found okay so that means this common collection will not work we need to try another one and i'm just going to change it to common collection 2 hit enter and let's just copy this one copy selection back here delete this one okay and paste the new one and uh, we must URL encode this one so convert selection URL encode all the characters uh, send the request again and as you can see that common collection 2 works we used common collection 2 and it works uh, and the file is being deleted this is the lab and I think you enjoyed I'm gonna see you in the next video bye